Hey guys, at Hamcation 2023, and I want to talk to you today about the M17 project and some of the changes that have occurred since last year. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, Stephen, good morning. I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about M17 today and some of the changes. Uh, I was talking to you for a minute before we started rolling the camera about using the MobiLink and the new MobiLink uh, TNC4. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me a little bit more information about that and how that can tie into M17? Sure. M17 is now a native mode in the TNC4 uh, uh, MobiLink. Um, the previous version, the TNC3, you had to have a different uh, firmware and load it onto the uh, TNC. But now the version 4 that's coming out has M17 already built in. So it's baked in, ready to go right out of the box? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. but I could go back and flash my TNC3 with a new firmware? Yes. Okay, good. So even if I own some older older gear, I could still get that up with a little bit more effort. Yes. Okay. Um, the, some of the improvements for the TNC4, though, uh, also include a TCXO um, in, the, in the actual TNC. So the clock is more stable and better suited for digital modes. You can run it on the TNC3, but you'll have a better experience with the TNC4. Okay, awesome. Now, uh, because we've now got access to the MobiLinked and with either firmware or the new one, that means I can run this with, I can run M17 over pretty much any radio or does I, do I still need to be worried about something with the radio itself? The only caveat is that the radio has to support 9600 baud. Okay. It has to have a nice flat audio response on 9600 in order for M17 to actually be able to be transmitted and received. Okay. So uh, some of the examples I have are like the FTM 6000. Okay. Works beautifully on the FDM 6000. All right. Um, some of the Kenwood radios, uh, the D, no, I'm sorry, the uh, mobile uh, 71, um, the 710. Okay. Those, those work as well. Um, okay. I've had good experience with those. All right. So, well, I mean, that gives you kind of a wide variety of radios that you sure. can take and use. So now, uh, can I, uh, you were saying something about an Android app that we could uh, download and actually use basically as an HT as well? Sure. The uh, MobileLink has uh, a software called M17 KISS HT, which uh, connects via Bluetooth to the MobileLink TNC and allows you to transmit M17 voice over that uh, TNC and your radio. Okay, so I don't even have to buy a new radio. If I happen to have a 6000 already and a MobileLink, I can jump right into this uh, M17 voice. Certainly. Outstanding. That's kind of cool and it's going to open this up for a lot more people. Uh, to work with. Really hoping that it will, yes. Awesome. Steven, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes with us today. I hope you guys have a great show. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, Appreciate sir. It. Until then, guys, 7-3. All right, we'll roll the intro. Yep. Steven. I had his name on my brain. I didn't want to call you that. You'd be really offended. <laughs> I've been called worse, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> and take radio! Oh, boy. That's definitely going at the end. Yeah. <laughs>